everybody, so today I got these new speakers. They're called Dio Nodes. Now, what's cool about these is that they are actually powered by Wi-Fi, so they don't use Bluetooth. Now, the con with that one is that you're going to need an Apple device for compatibility. Now, it will work with some Android phones with third-party apps, but you probably will run into some issues with that. Now, I do have three of these, two right here, and then I have one set up right behind me. Now, what's cool is that you can use one or you could use as many as you want. They do connect with Wi-Fi, like I mentioned, and all you gotta do is use AirPlay to be able to use them. Now, anybody can connect to it whenever they want, unless you put a password, which that you could do during setup as well. Now, you can set these up for like a surround sound effect, and you can have them all going at once in one location. Or you can put them in different areas of the room if you like. What's cool is that you can pretty much have a whole home stereo system without wiring anything. So you can have one in your living room and have that going. Then you can have one in your kitchen. That way, if you move from your living room to your kitchen. So when you're moving from the living room to the kitchen, you can still listen to your favorite song or maybe you're gonna to go to the bathroom. You can have one in the bathroom. And... All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset one of these. That way I can show you how to set it up real quick. In order to reset them, if you ever need to, just hold down the middle button and the plus button at the same time. And it should only take a few seconds. And it's gonna have this little light that's like flashing in the back. Now, after I did that, I also unplugged it and then plugged it back in just for safekeeping. I think rebooting made it a little bit easier to connect. Now, when you plug it in, there's gonna be a red flashing light for it. And then we just gotta wait for it to pop up on the screen. I do have the screen recording, that way we can see it. Then we're gonna see the setup new AirPlay speaker, DOAP2. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna see where it's looking for the Wi-Fi network that you are connected to. And there we go, now we're connected to our Wi-Fi network and then you can give your speaker a name. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to the name that I originally had it for the living room. And then right here is where you could put a password. So if you don't want anybody to be able to connect to it or you want limited connectivity, you could put a password on here and then you can give that to anybody that you want to have access. Go ahead and hit next. And then we are done. So go ahead and hit done and we can go ahead and close that out. And all you gotta do is repeat that with each node that you have, no matter how many nodes you have, just rename them. I would recommend making labels probably and put them on just because they all look the same. Anyway, these are the Dio nodes. I think they sound pretty good. They work pretty well, especially for being in such a small little speaker. I do like that they are on Wi-Fi and I can connect to it anytime I want. Now, of course, the con, like I mentioned, if you have an Android device, you're gonna have limited capability with these. So these are gonna be perfect for like a home that is primarily Apple, I would say. Well, hopefully this gives you a decent idea what to expect and maybe it's something that you might want in your home. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.